Well, g'day, Van Fam, and welcome back to another episode. This week, we're in Kalbari. Kalbari? Kalbari, <laughs> as the WA locals have been telling me I'm supposed to say it, but I think I prefer the sound of Kalbari. It sounds a bit posh, doesn't it? It's a bit it? more posh, isn't it? <laughs> we're currently staying at the Tasman Holiday Park, which is right in the center of town, and it's like a 30 second walk to this epic park behind us which the kids love and i've got to say i'm a little bit smitten with this town i really like it it's got it's got epic environment to explore and yeah it's just got a really good vibe and i'm really enjoying this place me not so much <laughs> well just because you nearly died <laughs> well there's that <laughs> all right without any more waffle on guys we're gonna get into this week's episode enjoy Little fun fact about us is Mel will not drink tea or coffee, so she starts the morning with a Barocca. Well, good morning, Van Fam. We're up super early before the sun's even got up. <laughs> because today we're going to go and get that famous photo in front of the nature's window at Kalbari. Yes, it's one of the things that I've always wanted to do while we're traveling Australia because I really would love like a picture of my wall when we have walls again. <laughs> 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 but the actual reason why we're up so early is we also want to go and do one of the big walks that you can do here in Kalbari. And but, they, close, uh, they close them like super early, don't they? Like at they seven close at 7 in the morning because we're moving into summer and it gets really hot out there and apparently people die out there. So <laughs> we need to get started early, so let's get going. We have made it to the very famous Kalbari Skywalk. Are you excited to go out and go for a walk on the Skywalk? Not at all. I'm not excited at all. I would rather stay in the car. Do you have pockets? I do, actually. <laughs> Things to know. Well, if conditions are windy, please secure your belongings. Well, that's perfectly right for Blowbember. <laughs> Float in the air as you enjoy sweeping views of the Murchison River Gorge. <laughs> I don't want to float in the air. <laughs> Hang on. Just no, just just no. What do you don't want to? You So Mel, I read some interesting facts about this. <laughs> this is uh it works on something called a cantilever system or a cantilever system. <laughs> no. Apparently it can hold over a thousand kilos per square meter. Owen's trying to drag mum out for a walk around. <laughs> I want to. I'm so far out of here. You're I don't think you're going to get a choice. Face your fears. Go on, mum. Walk around it. You must face your fears. Oh, and, and don't go through that middle bit. <laughs> How about you go through the middle bit and we'll walk around the outside bit? <laughs> this is torture. This is torture. Face your fears the quicker you go, the quicker this it will be. This is torture. Oh, look down. No, I don't want to do that either. <laughs> oh, oh, you can see the floor. Look oh. at the view. Oh, look, Mel, if you look out here, you can see straight through the floor. <laughs> Bye bye, Mum. Bye bye. Thanks for coming. Bye bye, Scary Girl. <laughs> hey, kids, out here, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Well, at least being scared of heights isn't uh, hereditary. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lose your hat, son. Look at the view. So, I believe we're going to be going for a walk down and around here somehow. All right, come on monkeys, we gotta get going. We don't have a lot of time because we need to get on this loop walk before seven in the morning and we're not sure where it is. So we've got to get running and go and figure out where we're going for this walk. Well, that was pretty damn impressive. Bloody terrifying is what it was. <laughs> Maybe if you're afraid of heights, it's not for you. But you can just see the effort that they've put into here with all the information, and the things there is to read and those skywalks, they've got a whole section on there about how they put them together and it is impressive. All right, I think we are now going to head over to Nature's Window, which is where our walk will start from today. 
welcome. This is the plan. I'm going to walk down and see the nature's window. And then we're going to go and do this loop track. Which is supposed to be 9 kilometers and class 4. Loop trail closed from 7 a.m. Good thing we're here before 7 a.m. Just. It's super early. <laughs> this is the very famous nature's window where everybody gets their photo including, including us <laughs> <laughs> but we are here today to do the loop trail which heads off along the ridge there so we're going to share that with you in our usual way Guys, that was an incredible walk, but boy, was it a hard walk. I think that we made it. the evidence shows. I'm going to have a slight heat stroke, to be honest. That, it was so hot. That was a challenging walk. i get this canopy open and get some cold water on here. Thank you. Yeah, she's all right. We get some cold water for her. Are you all right? Yes. Yeah. We just did the walk and it's a bit hot. Yeah, I know we were just contemplating, to be honest. But we're it's, late now. it's a bit late. <laughs> it's hot work. Yeah, are you alright though? Yeah, we've got cold water. Yeah. Just figured I'd lie down. <laughs> yeah, just take it slowly, hey? Just like take sips rather than like guzzling too much. Yeah, I think you're just gonna enjoy pouring some cold water on my head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you feeling better already? <laughs> 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 
Hey, I'm so happy. 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 i yeah, it's a good thing that they restrict when you can do this walk to uh, before 7 a.m. because that was brutal. That's one of the hardest walks that we have done as a family, and we've done some pretty difficult walks in our travels of Australia. Um, I think it's just the heat. It's like 42 degrees out here. I think it's just, I think it's just so too hot. Just too hot. It's like 42 degrees or something, and it's just so hot that just I struggled. <laughs> Struggle street. But we are safely back in the car now. We're running the AC on full blast. Everybody's got ice blocks. I've got a couple of soda streams. We got a bit of a drive in the car and the air conditioning to recover. Well guys, as you can see, I'm fully back to normal color now. I've recovered. Uh, we had a good drive in the car, in the air con, having lots of water. So I'm feeling much better. Just a tiny bit of heat stroke. We've got a bit of scrambled Thank eggs you, on Daddy. toast, Owen and Kaylee. Thank you, Daddy. <laughs> Darling. We are just taking advantage of the fact that we're at a caravan park <laughs> so we can actually make toast, which is nice. We haven't and, had toast in a long time. On. <laughs> As you can see, Mel's alive. I survived. We did make a mistake. I did get a little bit of heat stroke. Just, just Maybe a lot of heat stroke. <laughs> I did sleep for like 13 hours. Mel slept from 7.30 until 8.30 this morning. So she's had 13 hours sleep and we just came back and crank that aircon up to full and we were just we were absolutely wrecked we just sat in the caravan in the air conditioning and tried to recover i think we significantly underestimated walking in that heat i mean those I think signs it are was there the last section too which was the which was the worst i think it was just because you're walking on hot sand hot sand and soft sand like there's a lot of soft sand in there look like we've done a lot of hiking which is why i think we underestimated we've climbed mount, mount roland which was 24 kilometers up a mountain kaylee and i have climbed uh, cradle mountain like we've done a lot of, hiking, a lot of but hiking the heat is obviously a massive factor and i'm I not think, a fan obviously <laughs> i think with this one only being nine kilometers we just we underestimated the whole thing yeah. We had enough water, but it was just so hot and we were all wrecked. But Mel was more wrecked than everybody else. We think she got a bit of heat stroke. Yeah. But we're alive, we're gonna have a nice breakfast and um, there's more to do in Kalbari than just the Kalbari National Park walks and the nature's window. So we're going to have some breakfast and then we're gonna go and explore around the rest of Kalbari today. Uh, kids in the car. Smiling Mel. Huh? Styling. <laughs> you know me, I'm more class. <laughs> well, we're going to go explore some things to do on the coastline, on the Kilbarry Coast. Alright guys, we have come to a little place called Red Bluff oh, Beach. Look at it. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. So, Kalbari is actually famous for its rock, rock lobsters and when we were swimming in blue holes I saw a few lobsters but that's sanctuary zone. This out here is not sanctuary zone so I am absolutely frothing at the bit to chuck on the dive gear and go for a snorkel and see if I can't find a lobster. And what are you going to do, sit on the beach and watch your kids swim and play? Yeah, yeah, just relax. Hard luck. Bye. I guess I'll just sit here with a good book and uh, relax. It's a hard life. <laughs> so everyone's out there snorkeling. I'm just sitting here with my book. It's called the it's called Fourth Wing. I'm obsessed with it. It's really good. If you haven't read it, you totally should. Just looking out of the ocean, enjoying, relaxing, living life. Like, this is amazing. I can't believe this is my life, to be honest. It's a great day. Great way to spend the day. <laughs> there is uh, boatloads of them. I have found hundreds but they've been way too clever for me. I haven't been able to get any until I found this little one. Definitely not going to be the size. I'm going to have to let him go, but I don't think there's a good chance we're going to get a full size one. So I thought I'd bring him in and give everyone a look. Do you want to see what they feel like, Kaylee? Good. You're good? <laughs> too many legs. Too many legs for you. All right, I'm going to go and take him back to where I found him and let him go. I'll try for another little while, see if I can get a full-size one, but I don't like my chances. 
All right. I have to admit, they're too clever for me. There is heaps of them out there, but they're too hard to catch, so we might move on to the next spot. Do you want to go to Blue Holes, honey? Yes, dear. So this is the Blue Holes, the pride of Kalbari. It's low tide at the moment. Which is when they say that you should come. And they also say that you snorkel, but it's like knee deep. So we've all just put on our reef shoes and we are what, gonna go for a wander around yeah, the rock pool, see what we find. What's the plan, Mel? Are you gonna keep your feet today? <laughs> I make no promises, let's be honest. Because <laughs> I've just found a natural diving board. <laughs> How good is the water, kids? <laughs> How's that? <laughs> Found our new favourite thing. Our new favorite cool thing? thing. It's the diving board. <laughs> really? You need to go for a swim dive? Uh, well, one of us has to stay dry. So yeah, I so vote who? you should fall in. Are you sure you don't want to have a swim? You haven't swum yet. I've already had a dive. That's alright, you swim. Give me all your stuff. Show us how it's done. What are you on your coral throne? <laughs> I love my coral. All right, so that is the blue holes done and dusted. It's pretty damn cool. The thing that I like the most about it is look how close we're able to bring the car. So if you wanted to come down here and spend a day, cook out of the car or something like that, something you could easily do. What did you think, Mel? I thought it was great. The burning sand on the way back though, a bit hot. <laughs> sand, the sand's definitely starting to get a bit hot. How about you kids, you enjoy yourselves? Yeah! yeah. It was so much fun, especially yeah. this diving board well, speaking of lunch, we're going to go and find somewhere new to chill out and maybe think about doing some lunch. Alright, so activity number three for our explore day here in Kalbari. There's a whole network of four-wheel drive trails that run along the Murchison River. So we're going to go and we've already aired down and we're going to go for an explore, see if we can find us a nice spot somewhere along the river and have some lunch. Well, we found a spot. We did. It's crazy drive in. You could definitely get lost out here. It's a bit of a bloody rabbit warren. <laughs> Roads go on absolutely everywhere. Yeah. We just kind of followed our nose trying to follow the edge of the river and we found this nice little spot to ourselves. Nice little spot to stop and make some lunch. Yes, we're Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, we're get, definitely getting hungry. It's not everything that I had hoped for. I was hoping for the sand and somewhere we could have a bit of a fish or something but I think we'll just cook a bit of lunch and then maybe go back to the van and rest for the rest of the day. Yeah, for uh, next adventure. Do you remember when I used to call you a cheeseburger <laughs> as a nickname? There you go, I made your cheeseburgers. Kids, would you like cheeseburgers? Yeah. Come out, get him. Mm. Gong. Stop it. We're just sitting under here, hiding under the shade of the canopy. It's so hot. I guess you win some and you lose some when you go adventuring and exploring. In no, hindsight. You win some. <laughs> uh, we went a lot, but anyways. In hindsight, we probably would have been a lot better off just staying at Blue Holes. It's beautiful there, but it is what it is. We're gonna head back to the caravan for a while, but we still got one more thing that we wanna do this afternoon, so we'll see you a little bit later. All right, can you tell it's been a while since we've seen trees? Yeah. 
<laughs> Kids, jump out of the car. We're going to go and do our last explore thing for the day. Did I say jump out of the car? Jump out of the tree and jump into the car. That's what I meant. <laughs> well, cheers, big ears, to another sunset. This one over Kalbari, actually. I'll get up and I'll give you a bit of a look around. So. I, was, I had every intention to fly the drone, but it's incredibly windy, and I think if I send the drone up, I'm going to lose it here, so you have to settle for this little little view from here. But we got Kalbari Town there, we got Murchison River there, and we were probably lost somewhere in the Murchison River around there this afternoon when we went on our third little um, explore expedition. And, uh, yeah, I think we managed to do it again. <laughs> I've, Sorry, I'm here. <laughs> I got a bit of heat stroke or I'm a bit struggling from the sun today. My neck's a bit red. I'm not sure if the camera's going to pick it up, but <laughs> copped a bit of a sunburn, got a bit of a headache. I've had too much sun again today. So two days in a row here in Kalbari, two explore days, we've managed, got to, us, yeah. got us. We've managed to get a the bit. Heat, I couldn't it out. <laughs> <laughs> Just another sunset over Kalbari. So I love that sunset, sorry. Yeah, we, we see. Do, we do watch a lot. We've seen a the lot of sunsets. Beautiful. Oh yeah, that's something, that's something we were going to say is they have spent a lot of money on all the things that you can come and do here around Kalbari. Everything yeah. is shiny and new and it's... Well laid out and well done. Yeah, like we're, un we're under a beautiful little shelter here. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap up this week's vlog here. We will leave you with the sunset that we've captured while we're here. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you on the next adventure, guys. Bye. It's not. <laughs>